What is remote sensing? Radiation emitted and reflected by objects in a given region can be detected and monitored using remote sensing techniques, typically from satellites or aircraft. Users can feel the Earth's surface with the use of special cameras that collect distance-sensed images. Using satellite cameras and aerial imagery, we can see considerably more of the ground surface than from the ground level. Without having to travel to the bottom of the sea, sonar systems on the ships can produce photographs of ocean floors. Images of seawater temperature variations can be obtained using satellite cameras. The following are some specific applications for Earth photos captured using remote sensing. For huge forest fires, satellite mapping allows rangers to observe more of the region than they would be able to on the ground. Predicting the weather through watching clouds and volcanoes erupt, as well as seeing dust storms. Tracing changes in farms or forests over the course of several years or decades to see how a city is growing. Discovery and charting of the ocean floor's severe terrain, such as massive mountain ranges, deep gorges, and the magnetic striping over the ocean floor. Application of Remote Sensing Remote sensing comes with a broad range of uses, which can be categorized as follows. Resource exploration, remote sensing is used by geologists to research the origin of sedimentary rocks, identify mineral resources, locate oil reserves, and locate subsurface water reservoirs. Coral reef mapping and other aquatic treasures can be discovered through remote sensing. Environmental study, cloud motion and rainfall can be studied and forecasted using remote sensing. Water outflow from diverse enterprises can be studied using satellite data to determine the dispersion and detrimental impacts on living species if any. It is possible to study oil spills and oil slicks by applying advanced remote sensing methods. Land use, by applying remote sensing, enormous areas can be mapped in a short duration. Areas such as forests, farms, cities, and factories can all be assessed and monitored on a regular basis. A variety of crops can be identified. Site investigation, using remote sensing in dam and bridge site assessments is a common practice. Construction supplies like sand and gravel can be found using this tool. Archaeological investigation, many past structures are buried beneath the surface and are unknown to the general public. However, remote sensors are able to identify archaeologically significant buried structures by analyzing changes in the moisture content and other features of the buried artifacts and the new upper layer. Natural hazard study, it is possible to foresee and limit the effects of these natural hazards by applying remote sensing. Earthquake Volcanoes Landslides Floods and Hurricane and Cyclones Types of Remote Sensing Active Sensor The primary distinction between passive sensors and active sensors is that the latter lights the object they are trying to detect. Active sensors then measure the reflected light. For instance, RadarSat-2 is a synthetic aperture radar SAR, active sensor. Consider the light from a camera flash. It makes its mark more visible. The reflected light is then captured. This is exactly how active sensors function. Passive sensor. The sun's reflected light is measured via passive sensors. Passive sensors collect light reflected from the Earth's surface. Passive sensors include satellites like Landsat and Sentinel. Reflected sunlight in the electromagnetic spectrum is used to capture photographs. The sun's reflected energy is used in passive remote sensing. In contrast, active remote sensing illuminates its target and measures its backscatter. I hope this video provides you with great information about remote sensing and its type. Please feel free to like, comment and share.